Hi guys, welcome to Friday Waffle. Not done one for a couple of weeks, I don't think. I've not done a lot for a couple of weeks. Uh, I can only apologise for that, guys, uh, for all of you out there who are following me. Um, I've just been really busy it's, it, with family. Um, my daughter's moving and with my grandchildren, so I've been busy, busy fitting flooring, blinds, <laughs> moving furniture, whatever else, and I've still not finished yet. So, yeah, so I've just not had the time to get anything out. Um, I do have the second part of that video to do of my friend's uh, ZZR that I was fixing his headers for. Um, I know that's not up for everybody out there who follows the channel, um, but obviously, like I said, we are putting a few thing, different things in there. Um, I did worry that I was going to lose a few subscribers uh, when I changed the channel. I, I did, I did, but I also gained a few more, so there you go. So, but anyway, we have got plenty coming up with RD. We have got plenty coming up with Arlo. I've got that much content, I've just got not time to do it. Um, unfortunately, I don't do this full time. You know, I have to work for a living. Um, I wish I could do it full time, but <laughs> that'll never happen. I'll never be a Tasty Classic, I'll never be a, a gas monkey, even though I won't mind the money. But uh, yeah, Oddy still needs his oil seals doing. I've not moved him for a month and a half now. Um, I've dared take him on the road because I've got fear that the if the oil seal was to give, that's it, yeah. The oil contents are going to be across the road and I'm going to have one very poorly, poorly oddy. So he's still sitting there waiting for me to sort that. Arlo, as you can see, I'm in. Um, yeah, he's um, he's doing great. A couple of things on jobs that we need to do on him, uh, which I will, I will put out as well. Um, the clips on his injectors, the connectors for his injectors, uh, the wires leading to them, they're bare, the plastic coatings de disintegrated over time. Um, so I've just put some tape around them just to stop the marking out. Um, I have ordered some new, I've forgotten the name of them, there is a name out there. If I remember, I'll, I'll put it there somewhere. Um, yeah, so I've got some of them coming. So I'll be splicing some of them into the loom correctly, soldered and heat shrink wrapped. Uh, heat wrapped, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, there'll be no. No, no connector blocks used. <laughs> Poor of them silly blue clips. No, they'll be done correctly. So that'll be something coming up uh, for Arlo. That'll be the first job actually that we'll be doing on Arlo. So yeah, that'll be coming along. So hopefully after this next week and everything's settled down and calmed down, we have the family jobs I've got to do. Yeah, uh, we'll have some more uh, content definitely coming your way guys. And something else, um, just want to get your guy's opinion on something with Arlo. Yeah, he's he's on his nor his original 14-inch steel wheels. Now I'd like to put a set of alloys on him. I know, boy racer. Yeah, blah blah. I know. Uh, and also, I'm going to put one of the RS uh, wings on the back. Again, yes, I know, boy racer. But so what? I want to be a boy racer for a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm looking to put on just ideas on styles and what you people think um, 16 17 18 <laughs> I don't know uh, you know the world of alloy wheels has changed since I used to buy alloy wheels back in the 80s so yeah so I want to put something nice on him uh, not too out garish there but just something just to make him a bit look more a bit more modern even though he's an old car and just uh, give him that little bit of a sporty edge I was thinking some of the ST alloys off the, the newer model Mondeo. Uh, I think the Mark II had them and the Mark III. And I do believe they still fit on the Mark I. So that's a possibility. So, yeah, any ideas, guys? Just drop me a message uh, and what you think. And uh, I possibly will be doing the same with Oddy along the, along the journey of that as well. But I will definitely be going for something from Oddy's era on him uh, to be in keeping with the historic vehicle side of it um, so yeah so as I said lots of lots of things to come I will try and get out something for you over the next week for you guys uh, quite possibly be the part two and the finish of the headers on the ZZR so and if I get time and if they do come before the end of next week uh, for the connectors for Arlo, um, I might even get them up. So, I mean, more on the line with the 
with putting some wheels on Oddy, I actually do have a set of Ross styles. Um, now, one of the things with the, the, these Ross styles I bought, they're off an MG Midget. Um, the PCD is very close and you can use the wobble bolts, but yeah, I don't like the look of that. But I was finding it hard to find some actual Chevette Ross styles. Uh, which also I think were the same on the Cavalier, the Mark 1 Cavalier. Um, they're just, if there are out there, people are keeping them, I'm keeping all of them. So, um, yeah, I could have these MG Midget Ross styles done banded and uh, the holes, the holes centered and done properly. Uh, so that'll be the correct PCD. That's a possibility. I think it's literally 1.1 mil difference on the PCD from Oddies, which is the 4x100, and I think it's the 4x101.5, sorry, it might be, uh, on the MG Midget. So, yeah, that's another idea, possibly. Um, I can hear you all screaming there, no, no, but yeah, that's why I want some ideas, guys. <laughs> Throw them at me. Right. Oh, oh, this is one thing, I know, I said bye, but I, that's one thing I've really been enjoying driving Arlo. Uh, the two litre ZTEC engine, it just, I mean, he's 30 years old and he's, he still goes. How would he likes to go? Yeah, I do think that Arlo is going to be my uh, fun car. Yeah, Hardy's me classic, classic meat. I mean, I'm going to take Arlo to meets, but I think he's going to be, Arlo's definitely going to be my fun car. <laughs>